what is the biggest challenge for the interim government? The biggest challenge for the interim government is to bring in stability in all sector because we were under the ruling of one particular party for about 16 years and there were flawed elections through which they came to power. To continue in power, they have, they have controlled all the institutions in a way that the institutional chain of command has been seriously disrupted. So our effort will be to uh, make the institutions public oriented, bring them outside the influence of, the, of any given party. And the call is to reform the system so that the institutions work as Bangladeshi institutions and not as institutions belonging to any political party. So this is the major challenge for us, bringing in good governance, stability, and uh, creating responsive, people-oriented institution. Can we say, Madam, that the government now is in control in Bangladesh? I didn't hear you. Can, I, can you repeat Can that? we say that the government is in control of the situation in Bangladesh? The government is there. We, we spent almost two and a half days without having a declared cabinet taking over the responsibility. I'm not saying taking over power. I'm saying taking over the responsibility. Uh, the government is gradually establishing its control uh, in most of the uh, sectors that needed urgent uh, intervention. I would say in the finance and in law and order, uh, things have been brought under control. Uh, how will the new government restore the economy? That is a major challenge. We have this today was our second day in office. So the finance minister, the finance advisor had to reshuffle the entire Bangladesh bank because all the top positions, they resign. So we had to find people in 24 hours within 24 hours to fill in the vacancies. We had to ensure that the supplies of essentials are not disrupted in any way. Now we will have to work on bringing in discipline in the banking sector, because if you have been noticing uh, the turn of events in Bangladesh, some of the banks have actually reached the point of bankruptcy. There was global recession that, was, that, that is also a factor, but the malgovernance of the banks, the corruption, the money laundering, these were all there and were being reported. So this will be a huge task. I cannot answer the how question right, right now at the moment, but there are other countries who have gone through similar experiences before. It is not impossible to bring in reforms. So they are thinking about reform agenda. They are thinking about how fast we can actually bring in the reforms in the system. So the laws were there. The institutions were there. The institutions were all brought under partisan control. That we are getting rid of. But the laws were not being implemented or, or were rather being flouted. So we have to bring in our control over that.